Hi, I'm Mark with Total Pickleball, and thanks for tuning in to this week's Total Pickleball vlog. Today, I wanna to discuss spin on a pickleball in terms of imparting spin, what it does for your game or your shots, along with uh, some paddle examples that I feel are among the easier to generate spin with. Uh, first off, I wanna talk about production of spin. I feel that is primarily a function of your swing path. So if you exhibit what I refer to as a modern, more loopy swing path, almost like a Nike swoosh or a paper clip, you're gonna be able to generate spin on a ball whether you're playing handball, whether you're hitting a ball with a frying pan, a pickleball paddle, or a tennis racket for that matter. Um, second, spin, creating it or adding it to your shots, what it does is allow the player to play more offensively, hit the ball with more paddle tip speed, with a better margin for error since the ball is clearing the net with more height. Uh, personally, I include spin potential as an aspect of control rather than power out of a paddle as I feel literally if I can shape my shots with spin, I'm able to control much better what is going on uh, on court. I brought this one out here, just kind of go back to the old nostalgic days. Um, I've been playing this sport since about 1984. My parents built a court in our backyard. We did have paddles at the time that had holes drilled into them, a similar diameter as a pickleball, and that kind of helped. But basically, this paddle has a wood laminate surface on it, very similar to an indoor gym court surface. So when you take that modern loopy swing path and mix it with a slick surface, the ball just swivels and slides all over the paddle surface. It's not very obedient, which kind of forces you into using a more linear swing path to get the ball moving where it should. Now, as soon as we fast forward to the composite paddles, uh, mixing a composite paddle like this one, which is the Diadem Warrior Edge 18K, this is brand new. As soon as you mix a loopy swing path with a friction-based composite surface like this, it goes together at least as well or better than chocolate and peanut butter. Who knew those two items were gonna go that well together? So now, a little more detail on the uh, pickleball paddles themselves. Again, this is a brand new Diadem Warrior 18K. This one has a triaxial carbon surface. In other words, these are uh, the yarns are aimed at 60 degree direction. So regardless of which direction you're trying to spin the ball, you're able to impart that same kind of spin, unlike a grain on a wood where it'd be one direction. So this is definitely affording outstanding pad uh, paddle performance, spin potential, and all the rest of the four all exhibit the same elongated paddle shape with a little narrower uh, span across from three to nine. I'll explain that in a moment. Uh, next up, we have our Pro Kenex DLR. This is the Black Ace DLR Daniel De La Rosa. It's a little bit different paddle, about the same weight. This one has a T700 carbon surface that again is very spin friendly, long lasting. This is just a great paddle, uh, brand new on the market with us. And this one too is an elongated paddle shape running about eight ounces in weight. Uh, next up and slightly different, you've seen this one on our vlogs before. I just love this paddle. It's the Rockney Curve Classic. Again, elongated shape. And this one, unlike all the others that are kind of a carbon-based material, this one is actually fiberglass. So this is one of the more textured, gritty, spin-friendly paddles I can think of. It is not carbon-based. It is a friction composite. Between just the paddle performance, the price, this is just one of the best values in our system by far for spin potential and performance. And then on to the next, we'll feature the Carbon One Power Series 16 millimeter, again, elongated paddle, running about eight ounces. And the main spin feature here is the T700 raw carbon surface, extremely spin friendly. Last but not least, we have the Holbrook Maverick Pro, kind of named after that iconic, very dangerous, beautiful wave in Northern California. This is uh, kind of Holbrook's foray into the high performance paddle category. Again, elongated shape, elongated handle. And this one also has a carbon friction surface that is just extremely uh, spin friendly and long lasting. Love all these paddles. I did mention I was gonna try and explain a little bit of why I chose all the elongated paddles as opposed to a traditional shape. When you have a little bit shorter distance across from three and nine, it does make the paddle shift a little easier in this direction, or you could call it instability. Basically, that, what that gives you is the ability to roll your shot. So whether you're serving with top spin, rolling your shots, hitting third shot drops, etc. All these critical shots are gonna be easier and more effective to execute if you're doing it with spin. Obviously, there must be a benefit of spin uh, grit on the paddle because there is a limit to how much of it you can have on the paddle. Everyone's aware of spin gate or grit gate that happened a couple years ago at Delray Beach. And that's about all we have for you for this week's vlog. 
play hard, play well, play fair, and make sure to pay it forward to all those who aspire to improve in the sport of pickleball. If you want to learn anything more about these paddles or anything else pickleball related, be sure to visit TotalPickleball.com. Yeah, yeah, yeah.